Apple ditched Intel. What really went wrong with Intel? This is actually an interesting story. So what pulled Apple away from Intel? In a new interview, Apple executives Tim Millett and Bob Borscher reveal why the company shifted from making its own or shifted to making its own Mac chips. Plus, they shed light on, on what they're doing to make the Mac a gaming platform once again. We Once we started getting to the iPad Pro space, we realized that, you know, there is something here. Uh, who was this? This is Millet that told TechCrunch. Indeed, the enormous capability of the iPad Pro led many on the outside to speculate if Apple can build a largely battery-powered device in such a thin enclosure without any active cooling that exceeds the power of the MacBook Pro. Imagine what the same chips could do with more cores. So essentially, they got so good at building iPhones that the iPhones, uh, started they started using those chips for iPads, and then those iPads end up being more powerful than the Mac, and they're like, what are we doing? 